Hey guys, today's project is garden maintenance. So between our tomato volunteers and just the explosion of our zucchini plants this year from this really rich compost that we've accumulated, one of our zucchini plants just isn't going to make it and probably has to be put out to pasture. So the normal first case thinking would be to uproot it and throw it into the compost heap so you can use it next year. But believe it or not, there is an actual way to get dinner out of this plant in its state right now. So let's get to it. So what you may be thinking is that we're gonna be using the zucchini or the summer squash, but what we are gonna be using instead is the stems here. We're gonna trim these up and then turn them into something that's like a penne or a rigatoni pasta. Okay, so now that we've harvested our stems, now we're gonna get into prepping them. So what we're gonna do is we have to take off our leaves. So much like when you're working with rhubarb, we have to peel off some of the fibers on the stem to remove any sort of toughness. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna gather a little bundle like this working in batches. You take your knife, you're gonna trim off your leaves, line them up. Just like that. These you can throw right in the compost. Next up is you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to right about here. That's about the width of the pasta that we're gonna wanna go with. So at this point, you'll get a paring knife or another small knife you like to work with and find those tough little fibers. Not all of them will have it, but try to get them best you can if they're there. Peel them back. Edge off the end there. And just go in and kind of make nice penne cuts. A little bit on a bias like this. There you go. And something we're gonna pair with this pasta dish is something I'm really excited about right now. It's the Row 7 Seeds Center Cut Squash. It almost has the texture of zucchini and maybe spaghetti squash. It's like the perfect hybrid of like this meaty, delicious, yet light vegetable. So we're just gonna make a really simple preparation for this pasta dish here with the squash stems. We're gonna make a sauce with a little bit of bacon, some onions, some garlic, a little bit of Parmesan. And I'm gonna finish it up with a green sauce with a lot of parsley that's fresh out of the garden as well. Bring a medium pot of salted water to a boil. While we're waiting for our water to come up, let's go ahead and start grilling our squash. We're gonna put it directly over the flame to get some color on it. After we've achieved the color, we're gonna back it off the flame and set it to the corner where it's hot, but not hot enough to burn, so it slowly cooks and retains that beautiful, juicy quality. Now that our water's at a boil, let's go ahead and add those zucchini stems and cook for around two to three minutes or until they're tender. Little tip here, best way to test is to taste. While our stems are cooking, let's go ahead and get some color on the other side of the center cut squash. When your squash stems are done cooking, remove them from the water with a slotted spoon, drain them and let them cool. Before you empty the pot of water, hold one cup of the pasta blanching water back. Let's be smart and use the same pot we made the pasta with to make our sauce. Add a tablespoon of oil followed by bacon and your garlic and onions followed by a pinch of chili flakes and a pinch of salt. Add your reserved one cup of blanching water and let that reduce by half. After your liquid has reduced, add two tablespoons of butter and stir until incorporated. Up next, add a quarter cup of finely minced parsley. Stir very well, please. Now add your squash stems back to the pot to reheat and coat with the sauce. Once heated, remove from the fire and fold in Parmesan cheese. Stir to evenly coat and melt. Correct seasoning. I like a good amount of black pepper on this dish. Okay, pretty simple, right? Couple ingredients. So now we're gonna plate it up. So we got our grilled center cut squash. We're gonna lay these out here in the plate, sort of artfully or however you want to. Down here like that. And now bring your pasta over here I've already checked it for seasoning, for salt and pepper. Now, with a nice big mound in the center. The idea with the squash all over the bottom is that we're gonna pile up the squash stems or the pasta on top of it, and then you'll have these little hidden gems underneath, something for you to discover whilst you're eating. And now, you can garnish with some sunflower petals, just what we have grown in the yard. Something else you wanna put on top, or just as is. Finish with a little dusting of extra Parmesan. I'm gonna go heavy a little bit so it looks like fresh fallen snow. So there you go. 
something that would have normally been waste, now you have as a meal to enjoy. We're super excited to do dishes like this, and this is one of the reasons why we started Heirloom at Home, so you can truly make the most of what you have. If you have a whole plethora of zucchini or tomatoes or cucumbers you don't know what to do, or you want to know what's growing on your property, or you want an open fire experience like you're part of the Heirloom Fire team, that's why we're doing these really intimate special courses. We're super excited to share them with you. So head over to the website, send us an email, inquire if you're interested. If you liked this, like, comment, subscribe, let us know if you guys have any fun, interesting ideas to reduce waste with anything in your kitchen or stuff that's coming out of your garden. Cheers. Thank you.